Now in this video, I'll give you an in-depth review of DJI's first action camera which seems to kill all its competition within the same market and range. So keep watching. Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here and you're watching Adam Lobo TV. If you guys are new, hello and welcome. Do consider subscribing to this channel as I release videos at least twice a week. And if you're returning as a subscriber, welcome back you guys. It's nice to see you here. Now let's first unbox the DJI Osmo Action. Where the box comes in white with the Osmo Action on top, with the visuals of the Osmo Action in the middle and the DJI logo down below. Then looking at the back, there is some of these packs over there. Now the box opens from the side where you will find a card for the service center for all DJI products who is the guys from VCTECS here in Malaysia then you'll immediately see the device itself and it includes the plastic cage as well then there's also a white box below where you'll find two mounting options and the mount is quite easy to take off by just pressing the clip and turning it around then there's a cute little battery case where not only it stores the battery but also the memory card inside as well. Nice one DJI. Then you'll find a USB A to USB C cable and also the screw mount to mount the Osmo Action within the plastic cage where the same mounting screw could be of course used with other action cameras as well. And lastly there's the instructions manual. Now going over to the specs of the DJI Osmo Action, it has a 1 over 2 inch CMOS sensor with 145 degrees field of view. It has a high video bit rate of 100 megabytes per second and it comes with 1300 milliamps of battery which can last about 60 minutes at its highest resolution of 4K up to 60 frames per second. So obviously you get a better battery life if you guys shoot in a lower frame rate. And it has a dimensions of 6.5 by 4.2 by 3.5 centimeters and it weighs at 34 grams and it is waterproof up to 11 meters. Now let's look at the available ports and buttons. Looking right on top, there is the power button. One is just to turn on the device and the other one turns on the power immediately but also there's different commands for you guys to choose from within the menu system. Then on the left, there is the quick switch button to quickly switch to different modes. And then on the right, let me take this out first. There's a little door where on the outside there's the MC MC sticker which is very important for you guys if you guys are from Malaysia as it shows that it is an authentic product where underneath that door there is the USB-C port and also the micro SD card slot. And then down below there is the battery slot. Now as for the camera screen, there is a touch screen at the back which is a 2.25 inches and yes, what's super unique about this DJI Osmo Action is the fact that it kills every other action cameras out there as there is now the front facing 1.4 inch non touch screen for you guys to check out your composition for yourselves so you guys can use this for shooting yourselves either for video or even taking a selfie photo especially when it's mounted on something or even in a very weird position or maybe like on the ceiling or maybe on a tree or a monkey why would you never mind now to switch the screen from at the back to the front, you just have to either tap the screen twice with two fingers or you can press and hold the quick switch button at the side for you to change it right at the back. Alright, let's dive in into the menu system. If you guys swipe from the top of the screen, there's features like saving your current configuration profile and then there's also the screen brightness adjustments. Then touching the little lock locks the screen in case there is accidental touches. Next, there's settings where you can activate voice commands just like this. Start recording. Stop recording. Take photo. Screen switch. Shut down. Turn on. Of course, it does not work. It's turned off. <laughs> Under there, there's also cool features called Snapshot where once you press the button on the right, 
to turn on the power. It also immediately records or you can choose between the different commands over there. Then there's also the quick switch option on what exactly you want to see over there when you hit the quick switch button on the side. And you'll find other settings over there as well. And one little tip under that settings is to switch the auto sleep to never since the front screen will automatically sleep according to the timing set if you guys are even recording. So if you switch it to never, you'll never have to worry about the screen turning off once you vlog for a very long time. Then there's also the auto rotation of the screen menu system and the full or the exact crop of how the front screen is going to look like and then swiping from the right goes to the camera settings to either go through manual or auto settings where there's also the video settings where you can choose between the different white balance the color of normal or scene like the which is a flat profile for you guys to easily color grade after you've taken a shot then you can also turn on the D-Warp mode where it gives you the adjusted video for the size of the footage so it does not look like a typical action camera having the whole fish eye lens look at the sides and you can also change the format to either MP4 or .MOV as well. And then swiping from the left shows you the recent video and also the photos taken and swiping from down gives you the options for the different video recording resolutions depending on the mode that you are in. And also you can turn on or off the EIS or the Electronic Image Stabilization or the Rocksteady over there as well. And like the DJI Pocket, you can also download the DJI Nemo app which is available for Android and iOS devices where you can see the screen without any latency and it has all the similar features of behind the screen of the Osmo Action as well. Okay, on to the video recording capabilities since that's the reason why you get this camera. The DJI Osmo Action records up to 4K 60 frames per second and also 1080p up to a massive 240 frames per second and then as for image stabilization it comes built with DJI's Rocksteady which gives you a super smooth stabilization and here are some shots on how exactly the Rocksteady is on and off. Now there's also a dedicated HDR mode within the camera where it is used to get really high dynamic range but please keep in mind that this is without the Rocksteady stabilization so I would use this mainly to capture details of maybe the sky or even landscape otherwise just stick to the regular 4K at 30 frames per second as the Rocksteady is also not available on 60 frames per second but if you really want to get those battery smooth slow-mo features, the Osmo Action, as mentioned earlier, shoots at 1080p up to 240 frames per second, where as you guys can see, it looks really super battery smooth. And when it comes to low light or even the nighttime shots, the exposure of the camera is still great. However, you'll experience just a little jitters on the images as it uses the electronic image stabilization instead of mechanical like the DJI Pocket. And speaking of the DJI Pocket, do let me know if you guys would like to see me do a review on the DJI Pocket at the comment section below and I will do one. And when it comes to audio quality, for an action camera, let's put it this way, usually it sucks. But that was not the case for the DJI Osmo Action as I did my whole entire vlog using the built-in camera microphone which is available on the right and also right on top where I did a whole entire vlog using the DJI Osmo Action. In case you guys haven't checked it out, I'll put it in the card right above. And when it comes to shooting photos, it comes with 12 megapixel f2.8 aperture with a high resolution of 4000 by 2250 pixels. And while the camera is not made for photos, but the good news is that it shoots not only in a very high quality JPEG photo, but also raw DMG with a very good pictures taken during daylight and even at night as well. Now in conclusion, although that this is DJI's first action camera, they have managed to come up with the best action camera out right now with a nice little screen in front and a super amazing image stabilization. So if you guys are in the market for an action camera right now, this must be your choice. So go and get it. Now as for the price here in Malaysia, the DJI Osmo Action is going for 1,499 ringgit and I'll leave my affiliate link down below for you guys to get one. 
So guys, with this do let me know what you guys think of the DJI Osmo Action. Are you in the market to get one? Or if you have any other questions, be sure to let me know at the comment section below and I'll answer them as usual. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. And don't forget to hit the bell icon just next to it to get notified for my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in the next video.